Welcome to Real Steve TV. I'll be your host, Steve, and I am streaming this live. And um, I have a little update for everybody and just want to talk about uh, the channel and the stream and what's going on and share a little bit of my life. Um, but before we do that, let's uh, open up a prayer. So, uh, God, I just want to come before you now, Lord, and thank you for everything that you've done for me in my life. Um, thank you for my shelter, clothing, food. Thank you for the friends and family I have in my life, God. And uh, thank you for this hobby that I love doing so much. Father, I want to lift up anybody who sees this or watches this or hears this. I just want to lift them up in the name of Jesus, Father. And whether they're going through good times or bad times or neutral times, I just pray, Father, that you would give them this, the strength to seek you, God. Whether they know you or not, whether they know you well or they know you a little bit, Father, I just pray that they would seek you and that you would reveal yourself to them. I pray that, pray that you would encourage them, Father, and again, just give them strength to go, to go through whatever they're going through in their life. I pray that you would give them peace. The Bible says you give peace that surpasses understanding. I pray you'd give that to them. And somebody prayed over me and my friend, God, and, and he said something very powerful that stuck with both of us, Lord. And it's, it's I pray that the, whoever sees this would worry about nothing and would pray about everything, Father. May your perfect will be completed in me and my life and in my my viewers lives as well in jesus name i pray amen all right amen um so i i don't want to ramble and i don't have this written down or anything it's just impromptu but um uh a lot's been going on behind the scenes and uh my schedule's been slightly messed up not too bad um but just a little bit um the rhythm of me uploading and me streaming has been knocked off schedule a little bit and that's just simply um, due to a I'm still learning like a schedule that works for me that I can be consistent with and commit to because I've only been doing this a few months like it's really hard sometimes logistically to plan everything to plan when I'm gonna play and stream live and then planning for time to edit videos um, both of those require time and, uh, you know, pursuing, like trying to get the best gear in the game is like, uh, you know, pursuing the highest level of PVE content, which is like time consuming. And then, uh, me editing my videos that I upload, you know, that takes a lot longer than I realized. Like some of those videos that you see, um, you know the ones that are around 15 minutes that pretty much takes me anywhere from four to six hours guys to edit those um so i'm still trying to find a rhythm that works for me so that i can consistently do this and i just want to thank um all my viewers and all my supporters and all my friends who've been helping me and um um there's that aspect and then the second aspect is um I struggle with depression and anxiety <laughs> and unfortunately I think a lot of us in this world do you know and uh, really gets to me at times and uh, their attacks you know their attacks from the enemy and they they attack me hard and I get really discouraged and uh, really depressed man and sometimes I fight the feeling oftentimes I fight the feeling of wanting to throw in the towel you know, and um, <clears throat> the Lord's brought me so much through, brought me through so much in my life that I know deep in my heart that I can't throw in the towel and that I'm not going to throw in the towel. And I know that I'm not going to give up on my walk with seeking Jesus, um, though at times I want to. And my sin and my flesh and my doubt and my fears get to me. And uh, it's a battle, you know, that's all I can say is it's a battle for me. And I know it's a battle for others. 
um, and I don't want to be a downer because remember we we've achieved victory through Christ we know where we go when we die we know where we go if we live to see the end times um, th the big battle's been won and we can walk in that victory through our daily struggles and problems you know so uh that's kind of why my rhythm has been messed up a little um secondly i want to talk about like a little testimony that just happened with me um which i find to be an interesting story but um some of you may know the famous youtuber andrew callahan he used to have a channel called all gas no breaks and then he changed um, his channel name he made a new channel and now he goes by channel 5 news um, well two nights ago I watched one of his recent videos it was a video from two days ago so it wasn't an old one you know it was uploaded that day and I watched it and this is completely random um, I had no idea this was happening but at the end of his video he uh, told his viewers that he's having a contest um, in which he wants his he wants viewers to send in five minute and 55 second documentaries to his channel and um, he said you know it's potentially a chance to work with him well a he said he's gonna pick the um, the top 10 best documentaries and um, any money made by the that video is gonna go to the content creator and then he said he's not promising and it's not a guarantee, but he kind of implied that there is even a chance that he would potentially maybe hire somebody to work for him as a correspondent. Okay. Um, and if you don't know who he is, just Google him, Andrew Callahan. You'll see his style of videos and what he does, but he basically does like comedic documentaries. He covers like a broad range of topics. Um, sometimes they are very serious and he covers serious topics but he does always kind of does it in a humorous way and then sometimes he has more silly type content where he covers just quirky random things but um I feel a very strong calling to um, you know submit a video and that's my plan the videos actually do February 8th so that puts me kind of in a time crunch obviously I only have about after tonight 10 days to get this done and uh god's taking care of me through all of this um so my friend that i mentioned in one of my last videos a, a few weeks ago gave his life to christ and we're, we're old friends we've known each other for about 15 years and uh we went to church last night and uh my friend is awesome he supports me he comes into the streams sometimes once in a while you may you guys may recognize him or know him he's been in the chat at times his name is leaf wet that's his twitch name and uh he watches my videos from time to time and uh him and i originally met in film school in college we both got our bachelor degree in media arts and it was a, a program at the university of new mexico where we learned all about film in editing and production um we we watched tons of movies classic movies underground movies avant-garde movies we had to analyze movies write papers about them and then some of the classes were hands-on where we had to like use cameras and edit and make films so that's where he and i met and uh my buddy is a very talented skilled filmmaker he knows a lot he knows the ins and outs of, of video equipment and audio equipment and um, he used to work in the industry professionally um, he's currently now a uh, English teacher and that in itself is its whole other story and that's that's his story to tell um, but he used to work in the industry and uh, this is you know I, I use the word coincidence, but it's not a coincidence. This is the Lord helping me and taking care of me. My friend didn't know about this contest. I just found out about it two days ago, and then him and I went to church last night. Well, because he watches my videos, and he's a professional, and has professional knowledge about how all this film stuff works, and audio stuff, he told me that 
he really recommends that the next thing I upgrade is my audio um, because when he listens to my videos the audio levels aren't matching my voice is sometimes way too low or sometimes way too high <clears throat> and um, I've known this myself you know I, I knew that you know all my equipment including my camera is all basic entry-level streaming hardware I didn't spend an arm and a leg on any of this stuff because I just wanted to try it out and dabble with it before I invested in it more but uh I feel like you know this is just the next logical step I need to upgrade my audio and it's nothing crazy um, my friend though he he comes to me oh and let me back up I don't have all the right equipment I need to make this documentary to submit it to um, Channel 5 News, right? Um, and so I'm scrambling and I'm pressed for money like a lot of us are. Finances are a thing, as we all know, and audio and video equipment is expensive in general. You know, even if you get the lower end stuff, it's still expensive. And, um, I'm scrambling, right? And my friend doesn't know about this because I just found out about it. And we meet up at church. And uh, he tells me, you know, you really need to step up your audio game. And he gives me a list of some things that he recommends that I buy. And he also gives me an audio recorder that he no longer uses that has an XLR cable. Um, and that will help me greatly when I do films like this documentary. I'm going to have to interview somebody. And, uh, I don't have the best audio on my camera so this audio recorder is going to help me a lot to make the quality just that much better you know so it's a better quality video <clears throat> now he was giving it to me just for my streaming um and youtube video game videos basically and these videos that i make here um where i talk about god and and my testimony or Sometimes I read scripture or sometimes I pray. <clears throat> and uh, he was giving it strictly to me for that. He had no idea that I really needed it badly because of the, the documentary I want to enter into this contest. <clears throat> so God blesses me immediately, you know. And I'm just like floored because I'm like, only God could have known what I need when I need it. And God knows, like, I don't have the money to just necessarily go out and buy one right away or buy, like, a medium quality one or a high quality one. And I don't want to buy a low quality one, you know. So there's that. So praise God. Thank you, Lord, for doing that for me. It gets better. Um, meanwhile, he still has a list of things that he recommends I get. Um, basically, an audio mixer, um, a better mic like the streamer mic that we're all familiar with, with the crane, better quality mic, and then uh, just a simple SD card and an SD card, card reader. And he's like, this is kind of like um, the next step for you where you're at as a content creator. I highly recommend doing this, you know. And he's he takes art very seriously, you know, and at one point when we were eating dinner before church, he looks me in the eye and he's like, you know, I was a professional, like, I know what I'm talking about, and, like, I really want you take, to take my advice and invest in that stuff. It's going to make your channel that much better, you know, the next next step, baby step, you know, but much needed baby step. And immediately, man, I'm just stressed, you guys, because the list of stuff is, is a couple hundred bucks. It's, it's nothing crazy, right? But, again, I'm strapped for money. I can't easily just go and justify buying um, this gear, but, um, but I, I'm going to take it as his advice, you know? And so this morning I get up and I'm, I'm starting to piece together, um, everything he's telling me to buy on Amazon. You know, I'm looking for the best deals, looking for bundles, like whatever I can do to get it as inexpensive as possible. And because he knows so much about video and audio equipment, he's like, Steve, like, don't deviate from this plan buy exactly what I uh, I sent you in the links he sent me links you know showing what the products are and he's like buy exactly this so I'm piecing it together and um, uh, my, my dad calls during this time 
And uh, me and my dad, we probably talk on the phone about, oh, I don't know, once a week or every other week. You know, we probably talk about two to four times um, a month. And we're on good terms, me and my father. And my father loves me, and I love my father. Um, and that's a whole separate story for a separate video. But um, my dad calls me, you know, and I'm telling him about this contest, and my dad is, knows that I'm streaming and, and gaming and making videos, all that. And uh, I tell him about the contest, and I tell him about my friend and how I kind of need to upgrade my audio equipment. And I tell him, like, I'm literally, like, you know, when you called me, I was literally adding, like, the last thing to the cart, and I'm about to place the order. And, and keep in mind, um, I wasn't calling my dad to ask him for help. I wasn't calling my dad to ask him for money. I wasn't calling my dad to put a guilt trip on him that I needed help or anything like that. Um, and lo and behold, you know, my dad's like, you know, how much is it going to be? And I'm like, yeah, it's going to be about this much. And my dad's like, I want to pay for it. And I'm just like... Um, I stopped dead in my tracks, you guys. I'm just blown away, you know, and uh, I don't want to get into the details, but just to paint the picture so you understand my reaction, and me and my sisters joke about this, and, and my dad jokes about this, but my dad's kind of one of those old school dads that he's just tight with money, is all I'm going to say, and that's a very like popular trope even in like tv and movies and film right there's always the character of that dad who's like always complaining that stuff costs too much okay so dad if you see this video i love you thank you so much for paying for that for me it means so much to me but the point of this story is it's not very it's not characteristic of my dad i guess maybe to do something like that so that's why like my mind was blown like when he said i want to pay for it i was I, like I said, I stopped dead in my tracks and I'm just like, uh, yeah, yes, please. Yes, dad. That'd be awesome. Um, so God, <laughs> God's helping me. And we went to church last night, me and my friend. And one of the things the pastor said is like, remember God uses people to help each other. And that's why we need to go to church as believers. There's people at church that can help you. And guess what? There's people at church who need your help. Huh. And um, you never know how God's going to use someone at any point in your life to help. And we all like, we all owe it to the Lord and ourselves to go and serve and help people. You know, like do what you can to help people. Um, so I just, I wanted to share that story. And there's a lot more like little details to it. Um, but like I said, I don't want to make this like a super long, huge video for all of my fellow believers out there who watch me and follow me again. Thank you so much. Like you guys, you have no idea what it means to me when I see your comments on my YouTube videos and the nice kind things you say about me and to me and about my videos. Like that's just enough wind that, that keeps me going wind in my sails that just keeps me going. You know, again, I'm not. A huge youtuber um, I'm not a huge video game streamer anything like that you know as of now I have 216 subs on YouTube I have 47 subs on twitch um, and I'm my goal is to get monetized with YouTube and to get um, on to the affiliate partner level with twitch and so I guess this is a good time to bring up those goals guys um, so if you could help me or if you stumble across this video, of course, a sub would be awesome. Both subbing to my YouTube and to my Twitch, even if you don't end up watching me often or all the time, just it's a numbers game, you know, and the more subs I have, the better. Um, but in order to apply to be monetized with YouTube, I have to have 500 subscribers and I have to have 3000 hours of my videos watched by viewers. And where I'm at right now is I have 216 subscribers. So we're almost halfway to that. And then I have, the last time I checked yesterday, I had 606 hours of watch time. And um, 
I'm very pleased with that. You know, I've been doing this again, two, three months, and I didn't think it would be growing at the, even the rate it's growing now. And again, I know it's not crazy. It's not going viral overnight, but the growth since I started this has been like slow and steady, like the whole entire time, you know, and that's, again, that's just another thing that keeps the wind in my sails. I'm seeing like a positive feedback loop going on with all this. And I'm having faith, you know, to keep to keep working hard. Um, because like I've said before, my dream is that I would get monetized and be able to make some money on the side doing this. And then, you know, eventually make money and be able to do this full time, 100%. Um, my Twitch goals are I have to get 50 subscribers or followers on Twitch. And then I have to have an average of three viewers live in the in, in the last 30 day period and again i'm at 47 twitch viewers so we're only three subscribers away there um but my live streams are where i need the most help um as as of like two days ago i checked and i'm at 1.08 live viewers a stream so again halfway to the goal there all i need is a uh, 1.5 ish more viewers so get a friend cut another friend in half you don't even have to bring your whole friend you could just bring a half a friend um but that's the goal there to apply to be an affiliate partner with twitch and we're getting there and i'm getting there and I, again i just thank thank you everybody for your support um one last thing because we're already at like a 20 minute video but um one last thing because I'm so pressed for time and I'm going to do my best to submit a video to Channel 5, um, my schedule for the next 10 days might be a little wonky or crazy. I might not be uploading as many videos as I have been and I might not be streaming as much as I have been. Um, and that's just because it, obviously I'm going to have to take the time to invest my time into making that documentary. <clears throat> Now, the good thing is, again, it's only a five minute and 55 second video. So I'm used to editing about 15 minute long videos. Um, so I'm not worried about the editing or, or any of that, but it is going to be the logistics of using all this hardware to go out into the field to get interviews and footage. Um, I'm used to sitting here in front of my computer and getting footage for the documentary. I'm going to have to be boots on the ground and, and get out there and film stuff you know and I'm excited about that but I haven't done that in a long time so I'm also like you know nervous and and uh scared and worried which I shouldn't be you know God has taken care of me so much through this whole thing I don't know why I would even doubt that God's going to continue to help me and that's the thing um last night one of the worship songs at church has lyrics that are to the effect of like god you delivered back then you're gonna deliver now god you were a healer back then in ancient times with the ancient jews you're a healer now today in my life god back then you parted red seas well today god parts red seas and i lose sight of that god's brought me through so much and i still let doubt and negativity and worry get to me you know and 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 i i i want to encourage everybody believers do not do not let the enemy do not let your own self you know my you know what i mean do not let negative people in the world discourage you from your path of seeking god um and i'll be praying for you guys um even off stream when i go to pray my daily prayer or I pray more than once a day, but you know, when I do my quiet time and all that, I'll be praying for you guys because uh, I know a lot of us are in a battle these days and a lot of us are facing challenges and I know it can get scary and we can lose faith and hope, but we got to keep fighting guys. I'm going to do it through art. That's what I believe God put me on this planet to do. I'm a creative person. Um, I have to do I have to do creative things or some part of my soul dies. 
Um, and so hence why I'm so excited to be doing all this stuff, you know, but at the end of the day, all this stuff still is work. It's no cakewalk. It's not easy to edit for hours. It's not easy to try to pursue the highest level content in this crazy game. It's not easy to be present live when there's live people watching you play a game and maybe you're under a lot of pressure because you're doing something hard in the game. You know, it's it's not physical like sports, but uh, I've played sports for a big chunk of my life. And when you're doing something competitive or something with a goal and then people are watching you, that same nervousness and anxiety comes up, you know. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's where we're at, dude. Um, I hope everyone's doing good. And I will catch you on the next time. You've been watching Real Steve TV. Peace.